basically QuickBase does not have that native functionality inside of Forms as of yet. If you needed that functionality, you probably would have to pay for something extra to get that functionality. Is I'm going to show you how you can get that functionality without having to pay for it. Hello, my name is Claude. I am a QuickBase developer. I've developed in QuickBase since 2013. Okay. Um, this here, this is a QuickBase form. And inside this form, I have the signature pad. So I can do things like this. And look, that changed there. I can draw in here. I can reset it. I can draw some more. And it did. It starts here. I have this formula URL that is set up as an iframe. And the URL is pointed to a page that I created, the styling and everything for the signature pad. And it's page number two. It sends a record ID in the URL params. And it's the current record ID for the current field of the form that I'm in. Well, just to show you what that looks like, I'm going to go to the uh, pages here. And so that was page number two. And this is page number two here. I click on this and it's the same pad there. I can submit it, reset it, things like that. So that's, this is the pad here. And just to take a look under the hood, I'm using a library called J Signature to pull this off. J Signature is a free tool. This CDN allows me to have the logic to create the SVG. They require that you have a div with this ID in the div, and it's a blank div. And this script populates this div with the ID of signature. It populates the deal with a canvas that allows you to be able to control signature logic. What I did additionally was created a script to be able to manage it, and I put it inside of code page number three. So if we go here, go to code page number three, this is my JavaScript. I click in that, and this is my logic that allows me to catch the URL param, which I sent the current record ID. It catches it. Then after I've drawn my signature or whatnot, I catch that signature ID, that div, and I create a SVG in base 64. And then I add more code to that. Like I can I concatenate some things and I add something that would allow it to be able to be used inside of an image image HTML tag. And so once I do this and I create these variables, I create a HTTP request that goes to a URL endpoint and sends a payload. The first and the payload is just basic JSON. And the first thing is a record ID, which the record ID that I got from here, all I do is just send it right back. I, I, well, I get it from, I get it from the, um, current record and then I send it to the pipeline URL endpoint, which I'll show you that here in just a moment. But also not only do I send the record ID, but I also send the image source, which is this here, which I created here. And and I'm gonna go ahead and show you the pipeline here. And so and so basically what this pipeline does is it has a URL endpoint and it sits and waits and listens for a request that gets sent. And you'll see like this ends with GBS74. This is also GBS74 here. GB, uh, GDS74. So that matches. So that's the URL endpoint. And what it does is parses that Payload. So it looks at the body params and it looks for that record ID here. If this record ID matches here, that's the one. It's looking for that one record ID. And then what it does once it finds that record ID is it updates the signature field, which is here, with this signature payload here, image SRC, which is the same as SRC here, this here. This is the same as this. Image SRC, image SRC. This signature and that signature SRV ends up being this entire 
script here, which is called a SVG file or S SVG uh, code. And all you do to turn this text into this image here is you create HTML tag, image tag, and place that entire text in the source. That's all you do. And so that that gives you this image. And so that's that's pretty much it. And if you have any questions, please leave that below in the comments. So if you need any type of consultant, I have a link below. I do provide consultant for this sort of thing. If you have any complex problems, it may not be anything that I've never seen before. I've I've been exposed to at least 500 plus use cases in quick base over my 13 years in, in the platform. So I could definitely help you resolve any issues that you have. Well, with that being said, thank you for watching my video. Please like, subscribe, and do all that YouTube stuff. And have a good day.